What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today I am talking about Microsoft Flow and we're looking at some data operations. Uh, the one we're looking at today is the join operation. So we're, I'm going to go through and show you what a join is in a data operation. So what a join does in Microsoft Flow is it allows you to pass in an array and from that array, we can choose to replace the separator with something else. Uh, let's take a look at that in action. So I'm in Microsoft Flow. Um, I've just got a basic Microsoft Flow that is just triggered by manually triggering a flow. Um, and then I'm going to add a new step. I'm going to click on built-in and we have data operations here. And there is an option here that says join. Now we have a from and we have a join with. So this is basically saying, um, what is the array you want to pass in? And then how do you want to join that array? So I'm just going to uh, pass in an array. So uh, I'll open some square brackets, then uh, I'll put in some quotation marks, maybe the number one, so if I put the comma, then bracket, uh, these again, quotation marks 10, uh, two, comma, and what we're going to do is we are going to replace the separator of a comma in this array. So the, the comma being the separator for each row in this array. And we're just going to add in maybe some couple of dashes. So what this will do is this will run through the array and it will just join um, the first record to the second part to the third part using these uh, using these dashes as what we want to join it with. So let's save and let's test it. Let's hit test, hit save and test. Now, because this is a uh, manual flow um, trigger button, I just have this run flow here in test. We click that, because it ran successfully. And if we uh, expand this, we can see that it the array was one, two, three. And then we've joined it with a couple of dashes. So the output of it is one dash dash two dash dash three. And that's that's all it is. So this is particularly useful if um, something like your array is a list of email addresses. Um, commas don't work when you try to send email addresses. You want to use semicolons. So you could have email addresses in an array and then you could separate that with semicolons and that way um, the output of your uh, your join operation here could be uh, a list of email addresses that you want to send uh, emails out to use in Microsoft Flow. So that's a great use case for something like this. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what else do you use join, uh, join data operations for? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you could like and share this video with your friends, that would be much appreciated. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. Tough now.